In this video, we're going to look at calculating the area of a triangle. And we have a formula which I'm going to refer to as the new formula. It's different to the formula we learned originally. So the original formula, we will refer to that one as the old formula. This formula was area equals half times base times height. Now this was a very useful formula and also a simple one. It was used when you knew what the base was label this base and also you had to know what the height was now the problem being that this is useful when you know what the base and height is but the base and the height have to meet at right angles so what happens if you have two sides and they don't meet at right angles well that's when you need to use what we're referring to as the U form we use it when you know the length of two sides and also the included angle. So what do we mean by that? Well, let's say that this side here is 5 metres and the side down here is 6 metres. The included angle is this angle here. It's kind of like the angle between the two sides. Let's say this angle is 40 degrees. Now, with this information where we know the length of the two sides and the size of the included angle, we can use that and plug it into our formula, our new formula, and we can calculate the area of the triangle. Alright, now when you look at our new formula, you'll notice that it has some letters in it. It's got A, B, and it's also got a capital C. So what's this all about? I'm going to show you on our triangle at right. We like to label the vertices of our triangle with capital letters. Now these capital letters, capital A, B, and C, also represent angles. So this is capital A or the angle at capital A, this is the angle at capital B and the angle at capital C. We also have sides that are labelled with lowercase letters. If we go to the side that's opposite capital A, this is labelled as lowercase a. The side opposite capital B is lowercase b and the side opposite capital C is lowercase c. And you can see that we're getting the letters that we see in our formula at left. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub out some of these markings here. And let's look at our formula. You will notice that it has lowercase a and lowercase b. Let's label them on our triangle. Here's lowercase a and lowercase b. So these two lowercase letters represent our two sides. We also have a capital C. This capital C represents the angle between the two sides A and B. So we also have an angle. And to be more precise about that, it's the included angle, the angle between sides A and B. Alright, now this formula can change, it can be different. For example, let's take out these green markings. Let's say that we wanted to use lowercase a as a side and lowercase c, and that would mean we would need the angle at capital B because this is the included angle between a and c. How would our formula change? Well, it would change so that we have area equals half, and because we've got lowercase a and c, these would be our two sides, and capital B is our angle, so this becomes our included angle in our formula. In fact, when we have our formula, we don't have to just use A, B, and C. We could use, let's say, P, Q, and R to make our formula. Now, I'll just write down what our sides would be. Lowercase Q, lowercase B, P, sorry, and we had our lowercase R. So let's say we wanted to find the area of the triangle using angle R, using side lowercase q and the side lowercase p, for example. Our formula would become area equals half, our two sides P and Q, and then we would write sine capital R for our angle. So our formula can change. It can change according to what letters are on your triangle when you're trying to solve the problem. 
anyway, that concludes our video just introducing the formula for the area of a triangle. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.